Welcome back, people, uh, to the decorum. Uh, I'm AJ. Danny. And um, today uh, we're going to talk about a statement Joe Biden made at uh, the G7 summit. I'm sure it was full of self reflection and intelligence, thoughtful. Anyways, uh, what do you say? Uh, it was thoughtful, uh, all right. Mm, okay. Yeah. Intriguing. <laughs> 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 Tell me more. It made me think anyway, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, he said, um, he was talking about Russia and um, how Russia is meddling with other countries and they're trying to overthrow their governments. Right, right. I heard they do things like that. And he said, uh, what if the uh, United States had committed those things? And everybody knew it. What would it be like? If we engage in activities that he is engaged in, it diminishes the standing of a country that is desperately trying to make sure it maintains its standing as a major world power. And so it's not just what I do. It's what the actions that other countries take, in this case, Russia, that are contrary to international norms. It's the price they pay. Obviously, it's a hypothetical because we don't do that. But if we did, I mean, we'd be... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Um, castigated would be criticized, I mean, ridiculed. Yeah. I Maybe. mean, for Joe Biden to say that, I mean, he's been in government so long. He's so old. He was there when CIA was formed. He was. <laughs> he sure was. Whether the OSS became the CIA. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. He, <laughs> that and, he was. <laughs> I mean, and for him to say this statement... I think it's just the dumbest thing ever. It's the dumbest thing ever. Either he's just dumb or he's really suffering from dementia. Or he's crazy like a fox. <laughs> it could be a number of reasons. Look, Joe Biden knows the history of uh, U.S. intervention in other countries. Yeah. Elections and governments. It's a very long history. Every president's done it for as long as I can remember. Either he's gaslighting, which is probably what he's doing. Probably he was. Or he's just trying to put pressure on Russia. I don't know what he's doing, actually. Yeah. Or maybe he forgot. He could actually have forgotten that. <laughs> I he don't probably, know. Probably, I mean, that's uh, that's the best excuse that I can come up with. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we know, most of the world knows, we have books out that have yeah, documented, detailed, yeah. Yeah, documented these things. And... Uh, all over the world. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, this is and not... some of the secrets have been de declassified. Sure. And uh, and those are by our own CIA admission. So... We have a... I mean, uh, there is a book uh, by uh, William Blum called uh, Killing Hope. Mm -hmm. And it talks about the uh, U.S. military and CIA interventions since World War II. These are just from since World War II, not before. Mm, right, right. This right. is the list that he has put together. And uh, which is a a very good book on this thing. So if people have a chance, please check it out. Uh, we're not uh, paid. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're not. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're not, we're not sponsored paid. by. Yeah, we're not getting paid for, by these things, but. To promote his book, but you know it's a good way to get some knowledge anyway. For and sure. no, I, uh, no, I and he has put a list together. <laughs> Not even a full list. It's just no. uh, I'm sure there's there's more to it. Yeah. So I'll name some names, and then uh, you can comment on that. Okay. Uh, we'll start with China. Uh, so China is on there. Sure. Albania, is Germany, mm. Iran, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Syria, Egypt, Indonesia, British Guiana, Iraq, North Vietnam, Cambodia. Well, we know about North uh, Vietnam and Cambodia. We certainly know about yeah. those. It was, it was, it was a pretty very widely famous, known. <laughs> famous war there. <laughs> Laos. Mm. Uh, Ecuador, Congo, France, of all places. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. 
In the 60s, right? Yeah, aren't they uh, allies? Well, you know, allies are, you know, yeah. it's a loose term. Okay. Brazil, Dominican Republic, Cuba. Well, Cuba is obvious. Yeah. Bolivia, Indonesia. And we supported Indonesia we did. at one time. Suharto. Yeah. After 1965. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Ghana, Chile, Greece, Costa Rica, Bolivia, Australia. What happened, man? I, I thought they, these were our brothers. Well, you know, uh, they always have you know, competition, <laughs> so <laughs> it's small Aren't they world. the uh, prison colony just like the United States? Yes, they were. <laughs> and they also eradicated the population that was... Um, that was there? Yeah, so okay. that's, you know. Okay. All right. Zaire, Portugal, Jamaica, Seychelles, Chad... Grenada, South Yemen, uh, Fuji, Libya, Nicaragua, Panama, Bulgaria, mm. Albania, Iraq. Iraq keeps coming back for some. That's reason. interesting. I'm, uh, yeah. Afghanistan, Somalia, Yugoslavia, Ecuador, Afghanistan again, mm. Iraq, Venezuela, Iraq back again. So Haiti. Somalia. Popular spot. Honduras. Libya. For some reason, Libya comes back again. Can't Syria remember. and Ukraine. And Ukraine is just right, I mean, 20, 2014. Yeah. I imagine that. Well, so these are all countries where we helped uh, in, like develop, right, develop uh, their infrastructure. And is that what's going on here? We uh, invested uh, in their infrastructure. and uh, We formed, <laughs> built schools, actually. <laughs> And roads and yeah. hospitals. That's what was going on, right? Yeah. Well, that's good. Obviously, we're the altruistic uh, country. Yeah. I mean, not no, like Russia. No, we were. Uh, they were not agreeing with our policies. That's oh, what the world that's was. what it was. Okay. Yeah. I was pretty close. Yeah. I mean, uh, Iran wanted to use their oil resources for betterment for their own people. And we're like, no, Exxon needs profits. Yeah. Yeah. It's same thing with Central America. They want to, yeah. they wanted socialist governments or socialist type governments, and the U.S. said no, no. nope, not going to happen, not in my backyard. And in China, we all we know what why we we wanted Apple to be have a of course have a factory so. there and a, a, a labor force, yeah, you know, all that stuff at reasonable prices. Yeah, yeah. We uh, a lot of these are pretty evident. The other ones are not so clear, but. You know, we do what we do. I mean, do, they're not evident as as the history because we can't tell why people would want to do that. I mean, place like uh, Ghana. Yeah. Yeah, what's happening in Ghana? Uh, yeah. So, but it's, uh, it's always the fact that the government, the people have elected or put in place does not agree with the United States policy. Mm-hmm. So the only way to do make a change is, uh, you know, you go over there and overthrow their government. Overthrow, overthrow. It sounds pretty violent. Yeah, I mean, it's not a. We're not sending our army or air force all the time. You don't need to. Or boots on the ground, although we like to pull ourselves with uh, bootstraps. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, sometimes they'll just send an assassin. Yeah. Right? Uh, sometimes they'll disrupt supply lines. Sometimes uh, they'll uh, encourage the people to, you know, revolt for whatever reason. Very many ways to do it, obviously. they've. I mean, we support the opposition, fund the opposition. Mm-hmm. You know, you provide weapons to the opposition. You provide money to the opposition, and, uh, and that's how you do it. And... Um, we know we they have done that in uh, Afghanistan when Soviet Union was there. That's uh, right. We send uh, weapons to uh, Al Qaeda and uh, Taliban, and we have done that in uh, Iraq with the Northern Alliance, mm-hmm. which are Kurds, with good people who were fighting Turkish at one time, and we supported Turkish people when they started fighting. Iraq, and we supported Turk, uh, Kurdish Kurds. people. It gets a little complicated, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 <It's a> little 
<laughs> you have to have a little bit of a uh, schizophrenia or something. Yeah. Compartmentalized. It's the same people, but depending on who they were fighting, that's how we support it. Enemies so. or allies. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it complicates the issue, obviously. And um, our credibility in the world gets uh, diminished. And so him making statements like he makes yeah, makes it, us look foolish. I mean, it's just, that's why, you know, the other countries come back and say the United States has cannot, you know, even stand on the ground of saying uh, human rights because yeah, that's right. we have very bad record of that. And when they did the, a poll asking uh, several countries, like, what the greatest threat to world peace was, they said the U.S. Wow. For the reason that we just described. Yeah. So, interference. Yeah, anyway, so that's, that was interesting. Uh, I don't know if that was a power move by Joe Biden to test to see the response or he forgot uh, or... It was just a dumbest statement, that's all. Yeah. But it was prepared. Yeah. Prepared statement. Somebody prepared that statement. He read it. So, anyways, I'm sure... Um, I'm yeah. sure he'll make some more. So. Yeah, so it'll be in the next news cycle.